welcome to Storytime with Miss LaPerry. Today's story is Germs vs. Soap, ran by Dee Dee Dragon, illustrated by Hannah Robinette. Hi everyone! Welcome to Storytime with Miss LaPerry. I have something to show you today. It is very powerful. Are you ready to see it? It's this. I know what you're thinking. It's exactly what you think. It's soap. But let me tell you something. Soap is very powerful and it's very important. Do you know why? Because soap can fight against germs. Soap helps keep us safe and helps us from getting sick. And in today's story, germs versus soap. You're going to see just how important it is to use soap and to wash your hands. So let's start reading Germs vs. Soap. Once upon a time, and maybe even right at this moment, there were germs on hands. Of course germs are so tiny you can't see them with your eyes, but that doesn't mean they're too tiny to dream of energy cupcakes all day. There is, however, one thing that crushes a germ's sweet cupcake dream. Soap. Germs absolutely, positively do not like soap. At germ school, germs learn how to be germy. The teacher asks questions like, why are hands the very best place for germs to be? Oh, oh, because if the kid picks their nose, they use their germy hands and that's how we get in. Ew, kids are gross. That's right. Eyes, noses, and mouths are like open doors for germs. And once they get in, it's time for energy cupcakes. You're probably thinking, what are energy cupcakes? Well, they're not real cupcakes. You see, germs survive in our bodies by gobbling up our energy. And when hungry germs see energy, it looks like cupcakes. Energy cupcakes. Once the germs finally settle down, they reflect on the importance of being on hands. Lucky for all of us, we're on hands. Unlike poor Bjorn way over there. How do you get so far away? The kids sneezed into their elbow. All germs know that energy, lots of energy cupcakes, makes them toot a lot. The toot could be a silent toot, a medium toot, or even a loud trumpet toot. Germs don't care. They just have to be stinky because stinky toots get kids sick. A sick kid will start sneezing and coughing so that the germs just fly out of there onto someone new. And you know what that means? More energy cupcakes. Energy cupcakes! Unless the germs find themselves right in front of the sink, probably because an adult told the kid to go wash their hands. Great. Now the kid's on the step stool. The step stool? Oh no, I, I feel faint. Oh, snap out of it, Arnold! Luckily for the germs, there's no more soap in the bathroom. Maybe the kid will just... Wash their hands with water? Water? Ha ha ha. Oh, look at me. I'm so scared of water. But you are actually scared of water, Arnold. It's quite a celebration for the germs, you know. If there's no more soap in the bathroom. In fact, it's officially called a no-soap party. All parties must come to an end, especially when an adult is sniffing for the soap smell. Uh-oh, it's the adult's nose right above us. Code 931, code 931, code 931! No! Wait, what's that mean again? Oh, for Pete's sake, code 931 is the sniff test, Arnold. It means we're going to get washed. But the germs don't give up that easily. They remind themselves that they've been here for bazillions and bazillions of years. They've outlived the dinosaurs for crying out loud. Say it loud and proud. Who are we? Germs. What do we want? Energy cupcakes. What's going to stop us? 
soup. It's always a good idea to double check before making any sudden moves. One, is the kid on a step stool? Check. Two, are their sleeves rolled up? Check. Three, are they reaching for the soap? Check. Four, do they have a very serious look on their face? Check. Five, if you check marked everything, you're gonna get washed. Ah! Germs know to rush to the safe zones. Well, some of them. Get between the fingers, under the nails, and on the back of the hands. Move it, move it, move it. Don't fight the bubbles. Just stay inside of them. We're going under in three, two, one. Arnold, get away from the middle of the palm. You're going to get... Ew. This soap is so cold and slimy. Ooh, it's way too slippery here. I can't even hang on anymore. Hey, you know what? This soap isn't too bad. The germs prepare to get scrubbed for at least 20 seconds. One, rub hands palm to palm. Two, back of hands two. Three, in between fingers. Four, back of fingers. Five, don't forget about thumbs. Six, and under nails. In all that commotion, the germs get distracted by the bubbles. Look at all these bubbles. It's a bubble blizzard. Bubbles? Pretty bubbles everywhere? They're so shiny. But none of them could have prepared for this moment. Look, I have a bubble butt. Oh no, we've lost our germy layer. Look at us, we're squeaky clean. Squeak. Guys, watch out. It proves to be a little fun for some of them. Hey, look, he's on a bubble. What's up, dudes and dudettes? Don't mind me just surfing down the line. What's wrong with him? Soap fumes. Brah, is that a shark? Uh, you know, we're not really in the ocean, right? Right. Whoa, it got dark. Who turned off the lights? Am I on a slide? Whee! This is the drain, Arnold. Oh, look, it's an energy cupcake. Yummy. That's all toothpaste, Arnold. And so the germs go down the drain. The end. That's not the end. There'll be more germs, you know. And there'll be more soap. The end. Thanks for reading along with me today. Remember to subscribe below to hear more stories. Have the best day and remember to keep reading.